Welcome to Duchess Discussions. My name is Duchess. This is where we talk about true crime and missing cases. Make sure you're subscribed, that you like this video, share this video, and ring that notification bell so you can get notified on all of my future videos and lives. I am an advocate for the missing, and I like to give out my platform to the families of those missing people in order to share their cases and have their information shared accurately and with dignity. There is a new social media case that is trending in my home state of South Carolina. Where is Crystal Anderson? This case comes out of Aiken County, South Carolina in the town of Wagner. We are going to look at the details of this case so we can find out where Crystal Anderson might be. Crystal Chanel Anderson has been missing since August 20th of 2022 from her home in Wagner, South Carolina, which is Aiken County, with her boyfriend, Tony Berry. The children heard her scream, but she never came back inside the house. Crystal is five feet one inches tall, approximately 138 pounds. She is a black female with long black hair and natural green eyes. If you have any information on her whereabouts, please contact Investigator Cleveland at 803-897-7008 or you can contact Aiken County Sheriff's Department at 803-642-1761. According to family members, Crystal Anderson is a great mom, a great sister, and a great daughter, and she would never leave her children. People in the community said that when you saw Crystal, you saw her children. She always had her children beside of her. Crystal is a top social media influencer who used her platform as an outlet to express the pain she endured being in a relationship that consisted of domestic violence. However, allegedly Tony Berry would threaten to harm the lives of people she loved. So selflessly, she relocated in hopes to get away from the situation. She is now missing since August the 20th of 2022. According to Investigator Cleveland, on the night of August the 20th, Crystal and her four children were at their residence when Tony Berry, the child's father and ex-boyfriend of Crystal, came over and allegedly began to question a child if another man has been present at the house. The child answered yes. The conversation between Tony and Crystal got heated and that's when Crystal and Tony stepped outside and Crystal's children heard her scream, looked out the window and witnessed Tony Berry placing Crystal into the trunk of the car. Crystal Anderson never returned home. According to WIS 10 News, the mother of Crystal states that it's unusual for Crystal to not communicate with family members on a daily basis. She found out about her daughter's disappearance when Crystal's oldest child's father stated she never showed up to pick him up from school and her job called, and that is when she alerted authorities. A Wagner police officer told deputies he spoke to Tony Berry by phone. Berry stated Crystal had not been at the residence since Sunday, August the 21st, and left the children with him. Barry stated he did not wish to report Anderson as a missing person because, quote, end quote, she often does this. According to authorities, Tony's car was found burned and Crystal's cell phone was found. They are still working to get leads on her whereabouts. There is currently a $10,000 reward for information on the whereabouts of Crystal Anderson. 
Crystal was last seen wearing black pants and has curly hair extensions. Crystal also has tattoos on her arms. If you have seen Crystal Chanel Anderson or know any information on her whereabouts, please reach out to Aiken County Sheriff's Office or you can submit a tip to the blackandmissinginc.com forward slash tip line. I did a little bit of investigating of my own to see what information that I could come up with. And I did find some very interesting information. It looks like that on August the 23rd, police responded to the 230 block of Severn Road in reference to a missing person and met with Wanda Sumter, who said she hadn't seen her daughter, Crystal Anderson, since August 20th, according to a report from the Aiken County Sheriff's Office. Anderson's boyfriend, Tony Lee Berry, 48 of Wagner, told police he last saw her around 1 a.m. on Monday, August the 22nd, leaving the residence in a gray Dodge Charger being driven by an unknown black male. This was according to a report from the Wagner Police Department. Police did call administrators at a local school to confirm the location of three of Anderson's children and learned the children had been at school on August the 22nd, but were not at school on August the 23rd. School administrators told police they were unaware as to why the children were not at school. The Wagner Police Department also said it received a complaint on August 23rd from Tony Berry, who said he was having an ongoing dispute with his girlfriend's family because his girlfriend is missing and the family has been harassing him. This was also according to the Wagner Police Department. Police completed work requests to the National Crime Information Center and the incident was handed over to the Criminal Investigation Department. The Wagner Police Department handed the case over to the Aiken County Sheriff's Office. Now, I do understand that Tony Berry's vehicle was found burned approximately 30 minutes southwest from Wagner in a town called Windsor. There are a lot of red flags in this case to me, and I'm really hoping that Crystal Anderson's mother or family members might be willing to come on a live stream to talk to us about Crystal Anderson and tell us the information that we need to know. We need to know all of the facts in this case so we can share the accurate information out. Tony Berry has an extensive criminal record. He has drug charges. He has aggravated assault. He has domestic violence charges. This person needs to be investigated to the fullest extent to make sure that he is not involved in the disappearance of Crystal Chanel Anderson. Stay tuned as I get more information on this case. I'll be bringing it to you here live on Duchess Discussions. Thanks for tuning in and don't forget to smash that like.